Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to Uncle Ken and Stranger Than Fiction. Today, we're delving into the intriguing tale of the squatting monk of Thailand, Long Poor Cobb, also known as the Frog Monk. Stick around till the end because this story is not just about meditation and statues, it's about disappearing acts and magical frogs. Now, if you've ever been to a Buddhist temple in Thailand, you've likely encountered the grandeur of giant Buddha statues. But have you ever noticed the statues of revered monks sitting cross-legged? Well, today we're shifting the spotlight to a unique monk, Long Poor Cobb, who chose a different pose. The squatting position. Thai people have a beautiful tradition of praying not just to Buddha, but also to the statues of revered monks who have passed away. It's a cultural phenomenon you won't find in Chinese Buddhist temples or even in Theravada temples in Sri Lanka and Myanmar. Monks in Thai society hold a special place as spiritual leaders and fountains of wisdom. When a celebrated monk passes away in Thailand, temples construct statues to honor their memory. Some of the monk statues are even covered with golden leaves. It's a tradition deeply rooted in the rich history of Thai Buddhism. The biggest monk statues in Thailand, which is 12 meter tall, are dedicated to Long Po Twat, a legendary monk from around 400 years ago. He performed miracles and even outdebated a troop of Sri Lankan monks in the Thai royal court. His statues are scattered in Buddhist temples all over Thailand and Malaysia. There's even a movie about his incredible life story. Another iconic figure is Ajahn Mun, active in the early 19th century. He's renowned for his meditation practice in the forests of Thailand. His biography is a captivating read, and guess what? You can still find it on Amazon. Now let's dive into the mystical realm of Long Poor Cobb's meditation practice. Legend has it that he meditated in the squatting position while observing the candlelight to achieve profound meditative states. Now, I don't know about you, but squatting for meditation sounds challenging. And to add an extra layer of mystery, Long Poor Cobb practiced the fire casino meditation, where you stare at a flame to achieve deep concentration. But remember friends, don't try this without proper guidance. Fire Casino is not for a novice. So why do they call him the Frog Monk? Well, the story goes back around 100 years ago during a heavy downpour that flooded the village. Long Poor Cobb assured his worried disciples that the rain would stop and it did. But hunger struck the disciples and they heard frogs croaking outside, making them hungrier. With a keen sense, Long Poor Cobb told them to catch frogs. The disciples returned empty-handed and Long Poor Cobb magically returned with a basket full of frogs. But here's the twist. They were told to only cook and eat the frogs at the temple. But a disciple who took some frogs home found them transformed into magical leaves with sacred symbols. And that's how Long Poor Cobb became Cobb, meaning frog in Thai. While Long Poor means revered father, a title for respected senior monk. Now, let's fast forward to 1947, the year Long Poor Cobb seemingly vanished into thin air during a fire ritual. The flames danced and he disappeared, leaving behind a sense of mystery that still lingers. Some claim to have seen him during times of crisis, suggesting he may still be around in spirit. It adds an extra layer of mystique to his legendary life, doesn't it? And there you have it, the fascinating tale of Long Poor Cobb, the Frog Monk. What a journey into the mystical world of Thai Buddhism. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more captivating stories from around the globe. Until next time, stay curious, stay enlightened, and may your path be as intriguing as Long Poor Cobb's magical journey.